we got Carlos. You've probably everyone's seen the video of Carlos and the whole story of Carlos. So Carlos is back. And so just to recap everything, Carlos is doing his own video. He's been doing all sorts of stuff. He's got a billion followers, all our stuff. We had done his gynecomastia. This is his gynecomastia right here. Quite significant, obviously. I mean, those look like female, like breast for sure. And they're pretty low and kind of heavy set and all this kind of stuff. So anyway, we took care of him and he kind of disappeared. And we've actually followed him up online, which is kind of strange. And um, I saw some things in his results that I wasn't 100% sure about. So I told Carlos to come on back here and let's just take a look at him and see if there's something we can make better. Um, and so that's where we're, where we're at today. But I mean, he's he's gone through a bunch of stuff. Um, some significant body morphing, all this kind of stuff. So now when I look at this and I say to myself, all right, well, what could be the issue? Well, I could tell you what the issue is. He's got a lot, his pecs are up here. You can see his pecs are up over here. I wish his pen worked, because it would be really fun. Uh -huh. and, uh, we'll figure it out. But this, his pecs are up here and this tissue is all down here. And so what can happen, I could see that, you know, we treat this whole thing and the tissue excess sort of stays down below on the bottom here. And then sometimes you get a little ir irregularity. Now, for all intents and purposes, he's pretty happy with the result, you know, but if there's something I can do that can make it better, I'm happy to do it, uh, particularly if it comes from my own hands. Um, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So that's really where we are today, is just we're going to go and take a look at him and see what we can do with this. I want to know what he looked like before, before. Hi, don't you crazy? Oh, 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 How you doing? Oh, I got the camera on there too. <laughs> oh, you got the camera. Man, you're like half the size. Yeah, I know. I was telling Lacey I lost a lot of weight. Uh, <laughs> did she fill you in with the story? Of she everything? did. Yeah. But this is weird. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a whole new person. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah. So it's really kind of interesting. If I do this analysis with his shirt on, <laughs> I don't feel anything and I don't see anything, right? So now I'm just kind of curious what I'm going to find when I take a shirt off. So come up here and sit down. This is going to be like the great unveiling to us. Mm -hmm. So gynecomastia is an interesting thing because they can't control it. Patients who have gyno can't control it. I mean, you think you can die, you can exercise, take pills, do your things that you can find on the internet. It just doesn't work. It, 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 yeah, well, everybody has. It just doesn't work. So, but what you can control is your weight, obviously, and what you can control is your exercise right mm -hmm. and you know look and you're just kind of living proof of like all yeah. these transformations and everything not only that um i also have arthritis in my low back and going back to what you're saying on health to touch on that it's all in your men it's all in your mentality really um you either go get it or you don't you're either going to change it or you're not and so i've decided to you know live that way with my life and do it for the better and keep a positive mindset throughout everything that's occurred so yeah it's brought me this far that's uh, why we loved you. I mean, it's, just, <laughs> it's just the positive vibes and all yeah. that stuff. All right, let's see. Come on. The big on the uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So he is rocking. All right, totally. All right, so shoulders back now. And then lay back. All right. So now I'm kind of checking him out, and I'm saying, okay, what's going on here? <clears throat> really not much. Um, I see his nipples actually up where it's supposed to be uh, on his pec muscle here. I see a little shadow under here, right here. Okay, pretty minor. So really what I see, if anything, right now, is just a little bit of a loss of definition right here. And I don't know if you could pick that up on that video, but look at that, okay? So there's my hockey stick, right? So to me, it's just this stuff that I see right here that if I can improve right here, Bang, right? That's your definition. There's your hockey stick right there. And same thing over here. There's a little bit of poofy, poofy, doofy right there, a little bit here, maybe a tad there. But you can imagine if I just get this back like that, it's just going to be more sculpted. So overall, um, what I saw in his original, the original, I don't know. It was in August. Yeah, he had, he's oh. been doing videos, and so when I saw his original video, I just said, hmm, I saw more of a shadow, and I thought, well, you know, Carlos, why don't you come on in here, let me see if we can make that better. Um, and it's actually a lot less than I thought we would have to do, which is great, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all, my own worst enemy. I'm, like, thinking all these bad <laughs> things, but this is actually a remarkable difference. And let me just mark this so we can, again, <laughs> kind of see what I see, and, and you tell me if you see that. So give me a flex. Boom, all right? So you can see, I want to mark his muscle with the blue, it's coming right through in here, right? I mean, boom, I mean, this is just a, a monster.
monster muscle, which is fantastic. Oh, is that nice pecs? Oh, yeah, out? yeah. I kind of ruined it. Yeah, 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 he had nice pecs. And I see that through here. And this is his uh, lateral muscles. Okay, relax. And as he relaxes, I can see the, mel the muscle belly now has come down right through here as well. So pretty even on both sides. Muscle belly is right down through here as well. Okay? So I can see that. So really what I'm talking about refining, and you know, we don't have to do this. I mean, he's happy, right? I was yeah, happy, I mean, yeah. he's pretty happy, and, and, and we don't have to do anything. But, you know, and I say, okay, so uh, when he's flexed, everything switches. And I can tell you, yeah, look at that. I mean, that's amazing. And you can see his lateral muscles over here. What I can also remind people is uh, creases that you get off on the side here, uh, that's normal. And he doesn't actually have those. But I saw a lot of patients that were like, I get little creases on the side of my chest over here. And then one day I'm in the mirror and I'm kind of flexing. I'm like, hell, I don't have gyno and I got those creases. And then I told people, that's normal. And then he's like, oh, okay, don't worry about it. So uh, again, the, the areas that I'm talking about maybe just making slight improvements is just right through here. Nothing major. Just a little contouring through there just to give them a little bit of a, uh, a better sort of takeoff between his... Uh, pec muscle in this underlying area just to give a little bit more definition um, and it's pretty minor so the difference is he's not coming at me telling me like I'm depressed because of that mm -mm. you know uh, do you agree with my assessment yeah I mean as, as far as what you said I mean um, who cares what I see what do you see I mean I, I, I saw the same things and I think in the videos I do as well those are the only things I saw but I'm comparing myself to, to what he was. To. All right, so anyway, enough talking. Um, I'm going to go tell my anesthesiologist that he doesn't need to stick around because we can do this on the local and we'll have some fun and we'll actually talk during the video. We're gonna all just, hands on deck. We're, we're all make, ready. We're gonna make them even more cool, I guess. <laughs> so what we're, we're really doing here is using the Vaser. This is the Vaser. It's the ultrasonic energy here. And the reason why I'm using it is because this is mostly some scar tissue because this area, you know, shrank down after uh, we did his initial treatment. So the Vaser emits some energy in here and dissolves some of this fat, if you will. Oh, I can feel that. Yeah, you feel you feel heat or what do you feel? Just pain? I feel needles. Needles, babe. There's no needles, though. I'll <laughs> okay. uh, give you a little bit of... Local. Local. Because the mouth is so big, but I wasn't sure and I didn't want to give them... Which pot? Well, oh, um, like, what we're treating now? Yeah. So, um, so when your skin's expanded and then you make it less expansive, you know, you remove this all this gyno tissue and everything. That skin has to go back, you know, and sometimes it doesn't go back perfectly. On patients, for instance, that are like weight loss, their skin is just not as good. And so their skin oftentimes just does not do very well. And that's why you gotta cut their skin out. So really what I'm doing now is I'm just peeling some of the scar tissue down in here and I'm just treating it with the laser, shrinking it down, that's all. And the good nurse is putting a little saline over there to keep things nice and cool. Because this thing can get a little hot. And I don't want to cook the tissue at the incision side here. I'm up against the scar now, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. It's actually doing nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice, man. Real nice. I feel myself, you know, working through this tissue, which is going well. Doing regular liposuction in this area as opposed to razor would be tough because it's uh, the regular liposuction is just not strong enough, if you will, 
to treat this. But anyway, I feel good. That's enough treatment on that side. I'm gonna, and I'm, I'm doing this by feel. I can just feel it when I bump up into this tissue that uh, is sort of scar. And again, I'm just trying to make this scar down a little bit. Contract, if you will. Has anybody done anything from the summer? Oh, man. Funny you should ask, Carly. <laughs> <laughs> Mar and I are uh, leaving tomorrow morning. We're on a flight at 6.20 in the morning. Oh, my God. And we're headed to Colorado for a friend's wedding. That's so cool. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You see? So I'm just moving this probe underneath here, and this is an energy probe, and I'm just kind of going through some of this harder tissue, breaking it up a little bit. And then uh, Carlos, after we're done, is just gonna use his roller and his fingers and just kind of massage this area and let it settle down nicely. The whole premise of this was just to get better definition of the area below his pec muscle. Try to make something that's pretty outstanding into stratospheric levels of unbelievableness. You want to come on this side, Dr. T? Uh, mm. Do they like your personal stories too? Is it, yeah. So it's not just uh, your gyno. No, yes. yeah, well, I mean, the gyno will get thousands of views. And then uh, my personal stories will get hundreds of views. Have you ever set up your account so that you can make money off your No, uh, this is educational. Okay. <laughs> but you can still make I feel, I feel terrible. No, I mean like uh, I make personal satisfaction out of this. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's no amount of money worth that. Dude. All right, my little uh, suction. Okay. Okay, so now we did the vaser, and the vaser just kind of loosened up some of that scar can tissue. I, can I have We're gonna get some liposuction in there and just take out a little bit of. What you need? Uh, oh, uh, just a okay. syringe would be fine too. You want to? So we can grab one of these, for instance. We put this on here like this, and this is just a small cannula here. And this is this is the suction part where you just put that on there and you just stick this in here. Nice. Pull on this a little bit and just move it under the skin and just go for it. Go for it. Just pull up some of the dissolved tissue here, if you will. Get some of the fat and loosen the scar. Just contour this up nicely. Carlos, what's this feel like? Uh, a little pressure. Herky jerky. Things. But would you consider this painful if somebody was asking you what your opinion was? Would you say this um, is a no, painful procedure? Well, I, I feel like I have a very high pain tolerance because of my back. Mm -hmm. But um, for myself, okay, I would so sound like I'm going to put this on this sponge here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I might squirt at you, so <laughs> like that. Yeah, so. <laughs> It's one of the Carolinas. There's a lot of beaches in the Carolinas. I've heard it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. It's funny. Uh, everyone I'm going with is like, I had gone to Thailand last October. You? Yes. And everybody that you I'm going... You shocked, Carlos. You ain't shaking in Thailand? No, I'm she just... didn't go over any caves or anything. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get caught in a cave yeah, <laughs> when it rained. I don't know. I, so like, I guess the thing that comes to mind is just like Thailand and uh, the things I hear about Mexico, and I'm just like, well, Thailand. You mm -hmm. think it's bad? It actually oh, wasn't I, bad. I, I totally. I was very she, concerned about her. When she she was thought like, I was gonna be like, taken. Like abducted or something. She yeah. really did. She thought I was gonna be taken. She was like, Marv, I do. It's like that movie. Tank. What happened? Uh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I was like, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, you could relate to that. Because you can't speak Thai. Mm -hmm. and there's no, I don't know how to speak Thai How's at all. Food? Oh, delicious. You get a lot of Thai food. You eat noodles for breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you eat Thai noodles for breakfast. You realize. Different than the ramen noodles. <laughs> no, actually, ramen right, is one of the it. things that they yeah. eat. There you go. So, uh, a, a little roll in a day of uh, <laughs> the life of Riley here. And um, just make Carlos even cooler than he was, if that's possible. I feel like Carlos. And we love him. And. Uh, Oh my God. His story is an inspiration for all of us who are looking to achieve cure from gynecomastia and to also then invest in yourself, really. That's what it boils down to. And that's what makes this cool. 
easy to take care of his chest from my perspective. A lot harder to get these people motivated about weight loss and changing their weight. Check that out. Look what he was. <laughs> look where he was. Look where he is. That's just an amazing. I mean, come on. All that stuff. Now he's got the chest of a an Adonis. <laughs> Bo -bo anyway, we appreciate Carlos, we appreciate you, and if you have got any to come ask you, please reach out to Carlos and reach out to us and get that stuff taken care of so you can live the life of your choosing.